there, <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. My name is Lou Gallagher. My name is Corvette Ronnie. In an effort to pinpoint exactly which characteristics women deem attractive in a man, we polled over 1,000 American women between the ages of 21 and 54 in two online surveys. Now, once the results were in, we organized the characteristics based on how often they appeared within the top 10 attributes listed by women. So here are the top 20 traits divided by category. Okay. Let's just kind of see how we stack up. I'm ready. This. Okay. I'm ready. I know how well you're going to do. <sighs> I'm nailing this. Yeah, I know. You got this. Uh, the top five character traits. Okay. Number one. Got it. Faithfulness. All right. 84% uh, of the women rated faithful to me in the top 10 attributes they found in a sexy man. Uh, she wants to be reassured that you think she's the sexiest woman on earth, and luckily you do. Well, that's not the case, because Jennifer Aniston is <laughs> the second, true, true. The second sexiest <laughs> woman on earth. So remind her of the fact whenever and however you can. Okay, so number one, faithfulness. faithfulness. Number two, and I know a lot of younger guys deal with this, dependability. Yeah. It's sort of cliche at this point. But women are looking for a guy who's not afraid of commitment. Three out of four women say they look for a man who's good at follow through, being responsible, even if it's just remembering to pick up salad dressing on your way over to her place. That sends a positive signal that you're ready for commitment. So number two, dependability. Number one was faithfulness. Yep. Uh, number three, this is right up there, obviously, kindness. Uh, women may still fall for the bad boy type, but 67% of women say they were turned on by kindness because kindness inspires confidence. In other words, if you treat the waitress well, your date figures, you'll treat her well too. So, kindness. Did your mom teach you that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was always shown uh, basically catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. So um, always be kind. Uh, were you ever in food service, Ronnie? I don't know. Uh, I was a bus boy, so not really. Okay, so yeah. you didn't do, 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 deal directly with no. them. You know what? Uh, my mom always taught me a woman will qualify you by how you treat the server. Oh, uh, yeah. And I do not care whether it's a man or a woman. I am completely polite. I always remember my manners. I thank the person that fills my water glass. I try not to be a big disturbance or a pain in the ass. It's uh, part of that because you don't want them to spit in your food. Well, I, that has a lot to do with it. <laughs> and you know how I am about germs. And you know how I am about other people's cooking. Why did you even bring that up? Just the like, only cooking I can eat is my wife's, and you know that. I throw it out there. Oh, thanks a lot, Ronnie. <laughs> All right. Uh, number four on our list, moral integrity. Oh, this is a good one. This is huge. 66% of women believe that if you have the guts to tell the truth, you'll have the guts to be a good, caring partner over the long haul. Just try not to tell her what you really think of her best friend from college, and you're good. You're all good. Yeah, moral integrity. Ensure. I, yeah, I think that's a big one, too. What you do when others are not watching. And that's what I tell my son. The mark of a man isn't what you do when everybody's watching. It's what you do when nobody's watching. Exactly, Ronnie. No picking truer up, words yeah, ever spoken. Picking up garbage, you mm -hmm. know, and what have you. Somebody's litter. Right. Mm -hmm. Not because, you know, somebody might be watching you right. and thinking, oh, look what he did. Yeah. But just because. It's and right never thing. expecting anything in return. No. Just nope. doing it because it's the right thing to do. Okay. So number one was faithfulness. Number two, dependability. Number three, kindness. Number four, Moral integrity, that brings us to... Number five, uh -huh. fatherliness. Oh, this is so important. Yeah, being a good dad or having the potential at least to become one is about being a good role model and being patient and caring. Qualities 51% of the women want in a partner. Not a dad. Well, tell her about your favorite niece or nephew or the employee you're mentoring at work. Yeah, Fatherly. mentoring shows you care and you're giving back. Yeah. You know, and, and I'll admit, I in raising our kids, I probably didn't have the most patience. I tend to 
maybe get when things are going a little bit crazy and it, we're up against the time schedule I've you know I might lose my cool a little bit but you know I, I think that you you can only be pushed so far and when you have two kids that are yeah. at a certain age they know how to push all your buttons here's what I've noticed uh, it starts in a relationship with how you treat your animal and then it moves up to how you um, how you deal with when you're surrounded by kids and so other people's kids and, and, and so there are certain levels of this fatherliness I think that women look for well that brings us to the top five personality traits personality traits number one and I'm telling you you could be Rick Ocasek <laughs> but you look like him anyway. You can get chicks if you have, number one, which is a sense of humor. How about Rodney Dangerfield? I'll tell you what. Oh. <laughs> Did you get that hat with a bowl of soup? <laughs> Being able to laugh at the stresses of the world is a must. According to 77% of the women on the panel, you get bonus points if you can make them laugh. Humor tells a woman that you can laugh at the many difficulties that life thwarts you. Yep, it's absolutely, I think that's a, an important trait in men and women. You got a big mole on your cheek, make fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So sense, uh, sense of humor. Number two, intelligence. A worldly interesting man is a man 55% of the women would like to show off. Mm -hmm. Men who are problem solvers make women feel secure and men who are always improving are never boring. Okay. There's a fine line between intelligence and cockiness. Think Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> As Mulaney would say, enough said. <laughs> Number three, passion. 46% of chicks like displays of passion because they're not accustomed to seeing them from men. Get passionate about something. Kayaking, impressionistic art, barbecuing, or Habitat for Humanity. It's proof, listen, that you care for and about something beyond yourself. I'm telling you, if you don't have that, women can smell it. Yeah. Take it from your... Not might, there, might Ronnie. That not too. that. No. That's, that's not you. <laughs> so passion, number three. Number four, confidence. Yeah, a man who feels secure in his own skin makes the woman he's with feel secure, according to 41% of women. By showing you can handle unfamiliar people or situations, you tell the woman in your life that she need not fear either. Yeah. Unfamiliar people or situations. Uh, not your forte. No. No. Sorry. Um, I was at one time okay with it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, you have to have confidence. I tell a friend of mine that all the time. He said, no, I'm going to that. But he says to me, you know, what, what do I need to do to find a really good woman? And I said, well, you got to have confidence. Yeah. And again, confidence, intelligence, you know, gray area between that and cocky, both right, of those. Right. So that brings us to number five. And I took my glasses off. Why did I even do that? <laughs> Generosity. Now, hold on. May not be what you think. This is important to 38% of women. Generosity doesn't just mean spring for dinner. It also means you're willing to give your time and lend an ear. Those are huge. Well, men are traditionally not the best at listening. No. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. I'm sorry, I was watching another program. <laughs> uh, and I think that's kind of in the male psyche is that it's kind of tends to be all about us uh, a little bit. So, yeah, if you open it up just a little bit and, uh, you know. It's something that you can work on a little bit at a time. And right. you know what? I'm practicing what I preach. Yep. Okay, so don't don't send me comments. All, All right. right, practical skills. Top five practical skills. This is important. Yeah, number one, listening. Yeah, absolutely number one. Pay attention. 
53% of the women say they feel safe and secure when they know their man will put down his phone and listen. Magic words are, I'm here, tell me everything. Yeah, especially at a restaurant or, I don't know, bar or whatever it is. Um, put your phone down. Put, yeah. it, put it on airplane mode. Yep. And, you know, there's a game that a lot of people play, Ronnie, where the first person that goes for their phone pays for dinner. Oh, dang. So, yeah. Now, look, here's the thing. I know you like to... Oh, I'm having trouble with this eye, Ron. I know you like to have pictures of yourself at a restaurant or at a bar or whatever. So maybe when you get there, you take a couple of photos and then you put the phone down. Right. You can post them to Facebook later. Right. No one's going to go, oh, man, they took this picture three hours ago and now I'm just seeing it. Yeah. You know, so this is a farce. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I'm just saying, put the dang phone down. All right. Number two in practical skills, romancing. God knows I'm Mr. Romance. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, right above me here, or Ronnie, I'm not sure which, you'll see a little thing that comes up right now with an episode of Mr. Romance that you can watch, and you'll learn something. And Mother's Day is tomorrow. That's right. Yep. Romance appeals to a woman's right-brained, less logical side. 45% of women said they fantasize about being swept off their feet. Romance is bold because you're displaying your desire for a woman and revealing a softer, more vulnerable side. Well, we don't have that. No, not, not that much. We're not vulnerable. No. no. We're not soft. No. 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 Ah, okay, so yeah. romancing. Yeah, that's Whatever. up there. 45% of the women. That's all. I'm glad you got this next one, right? Yeah. Being good in bed. Well, thank you. Okay, so this might seem obvious, but take it from us. It's not just about the orgasms. A woman knows that a man who takes care of her in bed will take her, care of her out of bed. I think, I, you know, I'm confused, but I think that means vacuuming. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you take care of her in bed and you vacuum, you're set. You're covered. you got to call all your bases covered. Uh, number four in our list of practical skills, cooking, cleaning, etc. 23% of women said... That if you learn how to make one or two killer breakfasts or dinners, you'll win hearts. Macaroni, cheese, hot dogs. I'm glad it's only 23% of the women. Yeah, they don't know what they're that. talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's not, that's not even a majority. How do you get... <laughs> I mean, do those 23% ever make a sandwich? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, next up, earning potential. Mm. Now this... Who would have thought? Yeah. See, this is for more mature women, I believe, because okay. they're, they're looking past... The physical you, and they're looking down the road, having children, having a house, uh, being able to support, a, you know, children in a household. So one in five women surveyed said a man's success in his career contributes to his sexiness. If you've demonstrated talent, goal achievement, and follow through, you give women confidence that you will be a good provider. How do you feel about men who are, I don't know, let's just say for around number 55... Dating a woman under 30. I'm familiar with that scenario right now. One of my co ex-co-workers um, recently got divorced and went right around to a woman about half his age. I'm just not even sure how that works. Well, though. see, you know, I'm always the one that brings up the gray area. Right. So let me, let me throw this out there. Number one is... Does she desire him because he is, maybe he reminds her of her father. Maybe she is drawn to the fact that he's been successful in a string of years. Or, on the other hand, is she just a gold digger? And, and she's thinking, well, I'll only have to stay with him for maybe about 15 years, and then I'll get all this money. I'm not saying every woman does that. Right. I'm just saying that it is out there. You see it all the time. So should a man 55 be dating a woman who's 25? Well, not this guy. Yeah. But, I, don't, you know. I wouldn't have anything in common with anybody who doesn't know all of the Beatles catalog. Mm. Uh, you mean Paul McCartney was in another band after <laughs> the Beatles? Yes. <laughs> but, but, yeah. So, yeah, I, I just don't even know what they could possibly talk about. All right, that brings us to our final five, 
which are the top five physical attributes number one. Sense of style, the way you dress reflects on the woman you're with and she knows it. The man who knows how to match a pattern of shirt and tie will notice when she's dressed well too. Keep your tailor and your dry cleaner busy and spring for posh, touchable fabrics like cashmere, suede, Pima cotton, and brushed corduroy. Ooh, nice. I haven't worn corduroy since 11th grade. I think I, yeah. I have a pair of cords up in my bedroom closet, but I haven't worn them in ages. Well, if you hum a few bars. <laughs> well, and the next up is the fairly obvious, the handsome face. This one. Yeah. The I know science, what you're saying. The science of attraction, which has been studied uh, ad nauseum, basically, says it's all about symmetry. And women in cr uh, cross-cultural studies have also ranked men with broad chins and high cheekbones. And brushed corduroy. <laughs> Large <laughs> eyes. Those are the most attractive traits. Best way to improve your looks? Smile more and make certain your sideburns are even. Yeah, but they're on opposite sides. Yeah, how do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm using lately? Huh. One of those blue line markers where you put it across oh, and then you snap it in the middle. Yes. That works for me. <sighs> Very I, handy. See, there's a there's a first there's a world life, tip right there's there. There's a life hack. Pro tip. Yep. All right. Next to handsome face is height. Tall, dark, and handsome isn't the be all and end all. 15% of women said they like feeling smaller than their men, but height doesn't necessarily mean might. They will feel comfortable as long as they aren't towering over you. Yeah, Vicky is tall. She is. And she, thankfully, she doesn't like to wear heels. She's mm -hmm. not comfortable in heels, mm -hmm. which is a blessing because we went to a wedding um, last year. She wore about two inch heels and she was ever so slightly taller than I was. Uh -huh. So, how did that make you feel? I was fine with it, but she does not, she's not comfortable with it. Gotcha. Yeah, she doesn't like being taller than me, mm -hmm. so she'll slouch. Or... Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Next up is muscular build, Ron. Yeah, got that covered. 13% of the women said they viewed a muscular build as a priority. Okay. Muscles help ward off rivals and assure women that you won't drop her during a dip, but your overall appearance is more important than the size of your biceps. I think that means uh, during uh, dropping her into a, a, a dip bowl. <laughs> no, maybe that's not. I was it. thinking maybe a dancing dip. Oh, that's probably what. But they yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's you know this is not caveman times anymore. <laughs> we don't uh, we don't have to fight for our women typically. Boy, I was just thinking about this the other night. You know, I did have a girlfriend uh, when I worked at Saving Center. She worked there also, and we went to Disneyland and we stayed in a hotel room and she went out to the car for something and when she came back somebody in the parking lot had seen her and tried our our room door oh my gosh yeah so um did you blast the door with a shotgun i what's crazy is i did i used to always carry my gun with me when we traveled and um i probably had used a little bit too much machismo and told him, yeah, well, what if we call the cops? And he said, yeah, well, what if we come by and shoot up your room? Like, yeah, point That's taken. what you get, Ron. Point taken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Learned a valuable lesson right there. <laughs> I sure did. Number five, finally, is fitness. That said, 12% of women recognize a good body as indicative of a man of discipline and self-control. It tells a woman you can keep up with her in bed and out. You know, uh, it's funny how uh, people who fall out of a relationship one way or another, man or a woman, seem to fall into the physical wow. fitness yes. and, and go crazy. And then you get to be married 27 years and you look like this. Right. Yeah. You start start losing it a little bit. Yeah. I know uh, every time at work I see a guy who suddenly looks fit and trim, I always ask him, so what's your wife up to? Yeah. Oh, oh well. We're broken up. We're, we're separated. Not, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, nine times out of ten. Yeah. All right, so there you go. There are the top traits that women look for in a man. We hope that uh, this has been informational to you and helpful as well. Yeah. You know, maybe you find yourself signal, single after a, a long marriage. Or, like Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, listen up.
All right, uh, that'll do it. We are about out of time. All of the information on our sources and our uh, links are below. Uh, you can find our blogs. You can find our website, which is menaresosmart.com. And uh, we would encourage you, if you enjoyed the show, to give it a like. And also, please subscribe to our channel. Simple enough. It really is. Yeah. And click that little bell that you see. Uh, that'll give you notifications when the show comes out, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Specific. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Thank you.